a Blu-ray update for everyone who cares. And I'm going to try and make it pretty short, but who knows, there's six of them that I gotta go through, one of them's a giant box set. So, let me start with True Blood, the complete second season. This show is awesome. Season 3 just started last week, and I highly recommend starting from the beginning and then watching it because it's like Twilight for adults and everything Twilight should be, but it won't be because not a lot of blood exists in the Twilight universe and sex is like non-existent. Come on. But when I think of vampires, I think super sexy, attractive beings with lots of blood everywhere and violence. Twilight doesn't deliver for me. So I have to watch True Blood, and the books are great too. Cheesy, tongue-in-cheek greatness. Uh, watch this show. Go rent it. Go check it out. It's great, great, great programming. Thank you, HBO. Next is Trick or Treat, which is one of the best horror anthologies I've seen in recent years. It's got four different stories on this weird little town on one Halloween night. And by the end of the movie, it all like intertwines and they all come full circle and it's incredible. I highly recommend this. It went straight to DVD. It was supposed to come out on uh, in theaters, actually. I remember seeing a trailer for it with a movie a couple of years ago. And I thought, wow, that looks really good. And it never came out and then it finally did. And it's, it's great. It's really good. Um, next, Alice in Wonderland because it's pretty excellent. And I got the three disc set because I had a coupon from Disney. And uh, it's got a nice little cover here. Comes with a digital copy, uh, DVD, and a Blu ray. And it's a pretty nice set. Some really good special features on here, like casting the characters and getting to know the characters and how they did certain things of it. It's pretty good. And it's a fun movie, I have to admit. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. This was on sale, and I haven't been able to find the two-disc set anywhere of the, just the DVD, is The Hangover. I think this film was really funny, but really overrated. Uh, Alan is the best part of the movie. The Blu-ray special features are good. The extra hundred pictures on the camera is amazing. Um, there's some really good ones in there. But yeah, I think it's really overrated, but I, I did enjoy it. I thought that... Um, this was way better than Old School, which was the director, writer's other films, I don't know. But it's way better than Old School. But it's still overrated, but still funny, because there's some really good one-liners in here, and some pretty good performances, and I'd recommend it. This next one is my favorite animated movie that's not Pixar. Um, and it, the company, Sony, has made other cartoons that I thoroughly enjoy, like Open Season and Monster House. But it's a uh, Surf's Up, which is kind of a hidden gem almost, because most people don't even acknowledge it, because it came out around the same year as Happy Feet, and that tends to get more attention, and it's not as good as Surf's Up. Surf's Up is filmed like a mockumentary about surfers that are penguins, and it's really funny, actually. It's got a great voice cast. It's got some really good jokes. It's, it's a movie that adults can watch, too, and thoroughly enjoy, because there's some really good jokes in here that are, like, going to fly over a kid's head. Um... But it's a good movie. I highly recommend it. it uh, it's pretty excellent. It made me laugh pretty hard. And last but not least, my favorite film, one of my favorite movies of 2008, it is the on-screen reunion of Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. It's Revolutionary Road. This film got horribly snubbed at the Academy Awards. It got nominated for three things and only one of them was acting. Um, and it didn't get nominated for Best Picture, which it totally should have. I'm not saying it should have won, but it should have been nominated. It's really good. Um, I think Kate Winslet can do no wrong, and she's an excellent, excellent actress. But I think that she should have won for this instead of The Reader, because this movie is amazing. And the ending totally caught me off guard. Um, I need to read the book now. But, yeah, Revolutionary Road. It's I could watch this movie over and over again. It's beautiful on Blu-ray, too. I highly recommend getting the Blu-ray of it. There's a couple of special features on here that are special to Blu-ray, but yeah, check out Revolution Road. It's incredible. Uh, and if you liked Titanic even slightly, check this out because they do a hell of a job and they have great chemistry. So 
that's the end of my Blu-ray update. It was somewhat short, and hope you enjoyed it. Check out all the uh, stuff right here. I don't know when there will be another one. Probably not for a while, but there will be movie reviews almost every week this summer, so look forward to those. Thanks for watching, and please sub. Hope you enjoyed this video.